This is Richard Morley with Maple Systems. The HMI 5121P and the HMI 5150P have two video inputs available to connect VGA sources. This feature can be used to display a live video feed from a location that is not visible from the HMI. To configure the video in object, choose Video in from the objects menu. When the new Video In Object window appears, the input channel to be displayed is chosen. The encoding format can be configured for NTSC or PAL depending on the video format expected. Please refer to the manufacturer information for your video input device to choose the encoding format. Use of the capture function will allow capturing images from the video input of the HMI. The address can be configured to be a bit in the HMI or PLC. The storage medium can be either SD card or USB disk. When images are saved to a storage disk, a folder is created. The naming of the folder is dependent on the video input used. For video input 1, the folder is called VIP1. And the folder created for video input 2 is called VIP2. The record time before and record time after settings will determine how long before and after the trigger images will be taken. When a trigger occurs, one image is created for each second the record time is configured to capture data before and after the trigger. The record time can be up to 10 seconds for before and after the trigger, creating a total of 21 images, one image being captured when the trigger occurred. The video input object can display one channel or, using the base control address, allow the ability to display video input 1, video input 2, or stop displaying the video. Only one video input stream can be displayed at one time. Also, only one video input object can be displayed on a screen. Set word objects are used to write values to the control address in the following demonstration. Writing a 1 to the control address will display video input 1. Writing a 2 to the control address will display video input 2. Writing a 3 to the control address will monitor video input 1 but not display it. This will allow capture of images from video input 1 without displaying the video. Writing a 4 to the control address will perform that same function with video input 2. Writing a zero to the control address will stop the display and monitoring of both video inputs. The control address plus one provides the ability to pause the video input and then start it again. The video feed is paused when a one is written to the register. The register is then cleared by the HMI. The video feed is resumed again when a one is written into the register. Again, the register is cleared by the HMI. Pausing the video does not retain the live video stream while paused. The contrast and brightness of the video input can also be adjusted. For information about these registers, see the help file or programming manual. For more information about Maple Systems products and configuration, go to maplesystems.com.